Sleep problems plague more than one third of adults on a regular basis. And now, new evidence the consequences can be dire. Three studies presented by researchers at Wheaton College show sleep breathing disorders like snoring or sleep apnea are strongly linked to a buildup of the brain biomarkers for Alzheimer's disease. Researchers found these brain changes can appear even before people start experiencing signs of dementia. Sleep is so important, and when it is disrupted, it actually increases brain damage that could then really accelerate Alzheimer's. Daryl Foss, who already has mild cognitive impairment, knows getting quality shut eye is key to a clear head. I'm more sharp. I, my memory is better when I get a good night's sleep. Press the palms together. Let the but it hasn't been easy, especially bed. since he has and breathing problems and insomnia. Hips. So he took action, getting a CPAP machine to help him breathe better, Literally setting a regular little bedtime, little avoiding little. caffeine, and keeping active with his wife, Mary. All concrete steps, researchers say, could delay further decline. How much sleep should people be getting? About seven hours is sort of that magic number. It's not just about the number of hours. It's about that quality. It's about making sure if you have um, sleep obstructed uh, breathing uh, or sleep apnea, you get that treated. And sleeping pills are not the answer here. That's because they're meant to be used short term and they won't correct the underlying sleep issues or other underlying medical conditions that do need to be treated. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.